All right, moving now to the Democratic Republic of Congo, where farming activities are slowly resuming in the country following the defeat of the M23 rebel movement in the eastern region. Farmers who for 18 months were forced by the presence of the rebels to abandon their farms are now able to get back to work. The government is working to put into place measures to ensure that there is a way of reducing the country's reliance on food imports, especially from neighboring countries like Rwanda, Burundi and Uganda. The provincial minister for environment and agriculture has called on stakeholders in the agricultural sector to ensure that knowledge and skills imparted by NGOs in the country be put to good use to achieve food self sufficiency. We have gotten to a stage where we are importing bread, cassava, tomato, eggplants, even though we are living in an area where all this can be produced locally in a year. It is shameful that we are presently importing and so this day is a day for our peasants, our population and our authorities to say that we have significant challenges to conquer if we hope to extract our country from its current situation. I am now addressing the development committee, women's groups, producers, artisans, as well as NGOs and economic operators. I believe that every one of those groups has brought forth the fruit of their labor. I urge to emulate the successes of one another and to live by what the French call positive jealousy. The food security situation in parts of Zimbabwe is getting worse. The World Bank Food, the World Food Program says it's struggling to meet $600 million budget needed to import food aid. As the crisis mounts, food prices have shot up, exacerbating what is already a bad problem. Over 2 million citizens are estimated to be in need of aid. How did we get to this situation? Well, it's a combination of factors, erratic weather patterns, farmers trying to grow crops in areas where they can't be supported and also a growing phenomenon where farmers are moving away from traditional food crops like maize and are turning to cash crops like tobacco. As it stands, Zimbabwe needs 150,000 metric tons of maize that is being imported from neighboring Zambia and South Africa. To date, about 10,000 metric tons have been received. Government had about 30,000 tons as strategic reserves. So that's about 40,000 leaving a huge shortfall. The imports that have been coming through are facing delays and bottlenecks. In some areas they can't access because of the rains that have been falling and so roads are impassable. In other areas there have just been logistical delays getting the trucks through the border from South Africa into the country. The worst affected areas are in the southern region of the country, that is in Matebeleland North and South, Midlands and Mashingo province. They are perennially in danger of food shortages, so this is something that's not new to them, but this particular disaster is getting bad, particularly in these peak periods, and so the alarm bells are going off. Farai Makutuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.